Hey everyone, Jared Houston here again, and uh, this this blog, this entry, we are going to focus on and shed a little light on a 1031 exchange. Now, some of you have heard about this, some of you may have never heard about it, don't know what it is. There's many forms, there's a 1033, 1032, there's many forms of it, but it all stems from and boils down to a 1031 exchange. I would say this generally runs and performs, I would say, at minimum a third of the commercial real estate market. Um, actually, I'd be as aggressive to say probably more like 60% of the deals done in the commercial market, the, the larger deals, above a million to five million, is done through a 1031 exchange. So, let me explain what it is. Uh, 1031 exchange, essentially, the reason it's so popular is because it allows you to avoid and put off taxes. So, you're not going to get taxed on it, on what you, what happens. And so, the way a 1031 exchange works, let me back up here. Let's say you have a lemonade stand, and you own own it free and clear. There's no debt in the company, and someone buys a lemonade stand from you for a million dollars. So it's a really good performing lemonade stand. You sell a lot of lemonade. So now you have a million dollars. If you keep that million dollars, you will be taxed upon it. Um, you're going to get probably about 30% tax. So you're going to have to pay about 300,000 or so uh, to the government, leaving you with a net profit of 666,000, uh, give or take, right? So Assuming you don't want to pay Uncle Sam his money, you don't have Uncle Sam, you want to avoid some of those taxes, you want to put them off. You can never actually avoid taxes, but you can put them off a little bit. Um, what you can do is you can do a 1031 exchange. This will allow you to roll that million dollars of profit into another deal. Now here's the caveat. The deal has to be the same, uh, same value or greater value. So you have to go buy a similar business to a lemonade stand for a million dollars, two million, one point three million. Whatever it is, as long as it's more than a million dollars, you can roll that money forward. So you can roll it from one million to two million. You might, might sell that business in a couple of years, roll from two to three, three to four, four to five, and you can just keep growing it, growing it, rolling it, rolling it, not paying taxes. This is done to help spur investment in the economy, investments going forward, and you can actually keep rolling it. Now the key is it has to be a like business asset. So you can go real estate to real estate. You can go business to business. You can do land to land, um, but you cannot go from real estate to, let's say, a boat or a jet. Now, and the fun thing actually is you can actually fund equipment, boats, planes, that kind of thing, if it is of a business nature. For example, let's say you have a business of owning and flipping jets. It is a business. I have a friend that does it. He actually flips jets, jets as a substantial business. He will buy a jet make money on it, and then roll that money and flip it through a 1031 exchange, avoid the taxes on it, and roll into a larger jet. His ultimate game plan, I hope, is to have the jet of his dreams, the all-time airliner, probably a 737 or a G, uh, Gulfstream 6, something of that sort, and he'll own it eventually, hopefully, free and clear, and he'll never pay a tax on any of that dollar amount. So this is why a 1031 exchange is so powerful. Uh, why it can be so great, because if you utilize it effectively, you can continue to roll money, a small amount, into a larger amount over all these time frames and avoid taxes. It's also why it's a big driver of the commercial real estate market, especially in some of the bigger ranges and realms. So, hope that sheds a little light on what a 1031 exchange is, and kind of gives you some basic understanding of what it is. Now, there are some other caveats as well. You have to identify a certain amount of time frame, you know, one month, three months. There's certain time frames involved as well, so you have to move quickly on this deal. But uh, it is a possibility you can do when you are working with commercial real estate and other commercial type assets. So anyway, hopefully it gives a little more information. If you have any questions, as always, feel free to ask. I'll be happy to help answer the best of my knowledge. i got a friend that's an expert in 10 to 10 to exchange money. He actually has about 40 deals right now in some place or form of uh, investment. So he knows a ton about stuff. He's who I get my information from. I'll be happy to pass that on. And uh, until next time, guys, take care. Have a great day, and uh, we'll see you next time.